Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to make a rudimentary CCTV system using one of the standard components that's available in the Create New Menu of the Developer Tooltip. We'll go over it in just a second, but first of all I want to tell you more about where we are. We're in a map called Saturday Night Farms by Bobotron and Leon Clement. It's a club bar map for um, Saturday night, that's why it's called Saturday Night Vibes. Um, we're in here because I wanted to show off a map that could do have a CCTV system. You know, if you're in a bar, you might want to know who's in your bar and what they're doing. So let's get going. I'm over here on the stage, but if I change over here to smooth POV, you can see that we're looking out at a bar, and behind that's the entrance, and that's where we're going to create our camera. So for example, the manager of the bar could, you know, check out what's going on at the entrance here. Now I'm going to be using portals for this. Now portals aren't really cameras, and neither are they portals from the Portal game series by Valve. They are um, render portals, and so before you, you know, start saying in the comments, hey, these aren't cameras, they basically are, and for the purposes of the CCTV system, they'll do. I'll show you why they're not cameras in just a second when we create one. So I'm going to equip my developer tooltip here, aim at some empty space, and go to Create New Object Portal, and you'll see two squares up here. This one, I'm not entirely sure in its color, but we're going to be calling it blue. I am slightly colorblind. I think it's blue. I'm not sure. This is where the camera is aiming. And then on the left here is the camera sort of view, or the portal's view. I should use portal terminology from now on. Um, if I point at the blue square at the world joiner, you'll see that uh, we now see the world joiner. And if I point it at the models, which are to the left of the entrance, you'll see that. So we're going to leave that pointed at the entrance, and I'm going to take this and sort of go over here into the seating area. And you can see here that I can still see over there into the entrance, so I can monitor who's coming into the bar. Now the reason these aren't cameras that they're portals instead is because if I get closer I actually see more and I can actually look round the corners if I tilt my head and that's why they're not cameras. Cameras have a fixed view and you can't do that and that's because these are rendering what they see in front of that blue square um, into this square here and that's why they're not cameras. But for a CCTV system, especially in Neos, they act kind of the same. That's all there is basically to it but I want to talk about how the component works a little bit. So let's go ahead and inspect the, the, um, the view here, and I'll tell you how it works. So I'm going to aim my developer tool tip at it, push secondary, open up the context menu, and hit open inspector. With our inspector open, you'll see that we're on an uh, object called portal, and that the um, component on the portal that is doing most of the work here is called a camera portal. Now, camera portal handles most of the work for you, um, but there are a couple of things you can change. I'm going to tell you about the things I don't recommend changing, and then the things I do recommend changing. Things I don't recommend changing are the render and the reflection texture. These control sort of how the camera is, you know, rendering here. You could change the mesh renderer out for a different type of mesh. For example, if you wanted to make a, you know, a longer camera, you can adjust the quad size, etc. Or if you wanted to render the camera's output on a different type of shape, you could do that. But if you do that, make sure to change the mesh renderer's property up here. Reflection texture, I don't recommend changing up here, but you could go to the um, value of that, which is a render texture provider. A render texture provider basically takes the um, output of a camera or a camera portal component and makes it available as a texture for materials to use. You can change here the size to sort of down res the camera. You can see here this is a 4K by 2K um, camera in terms of resolution. There's also things like depth and filter mode that you can play around with here. Beneath that is a plane offset. I'm going to show you how plane offset works using a contrived example, but one that does work, which is by taking the uh, portal target here and just chucking it in this basket of sandwiches. Now over here on the camera view, let me just deselect all, you'll see that we're seeing the sandwiches right now. And if I didn't want to see those, I could change the portal, um, the plane offsets on the camera portal. So if I change this to 0.05, you'll now see that we're not seeing the sandwiches anymore. We've gone past them. It's a little bit like near off our clip, um, which you can also change here, but it, it acts a little bit differently because it's where the portal starts essentially. So if I drop that down to 0.1, you'll see now we can see a little bit the sandwiches. And if I drop it back down to its original value, you'll see that we see the whole, pretty much the whole basket. That's plain offset for you. Plain normal, play around with. I found it tricky when I was experimenting with it. It's basically which way out of the target object um, the portal starts rendering. In this case, it's specified as negative Z, which lines up with the um, arrow on the inspector that's blue. So if I inspect the portal target over here, the um, blue square, you'll see that the blue arrow is pointing straight out that way. And if I go back to the camera view, you'll see that we're lined up straight with that blue arrow, continuing off into the back wall there. I'm not going to play with it here, but you can go ahead and play with it. But if that's render mode, that doesn't actually do much. If you toggle it to its other value, it turns the, the view into a mirror. 
there you go hello um so we're gonna leave it as portal but here's where things start getting interesting the next value here is portal target and this can basically be any slot now do keep in mind that scale does matter here so if we wanted to use an object um, that was very, very small or very, very big, it would change the camera output. So what I'm going to do here is use one of the cushions. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect this cushion. Open it in the inspector. Head up to the top of the cushion here. Um, that's actually really small. We won't be able to use a cushion because its scale is really small. Tell you what, we'll just create another object. So I'm going to go to here to create new 3D model box, which makes us a nice box. And then I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down using the corner here so that we can get this nice and small. There we go, that'll do. And what you can do here is inspect basically any object. Do you know, do keep in mind the scale does affect things here. So we'll keep the scale at 111. And I can drop that box into the property here that says portal target. And you'll see it changes to box. And now the, the portal view is coming out of the box here. So if I move this box around, you now see that we're piloting the camera around. You see that we can see into the box a little bit. There's a little bit of gray on top there. And so you could adjust the plane offset there to get outside the box. That's all basically there is to making a system. You could put these around as a model and um, hook them up. Or you could use the object that I've made using this system and using this concept, which you can find in my public folder. So I'm going to show that off now, just as a final, just sort of show what you can do with this component when you put it together. Um, so if you go, let me turn on my private UI. If you head on over to my public folder and you go to gadgets, you'll see it's the bottom icon here. It doesn't have a good icon. Maybe I'll update that later, but you'll see CCTV system 1.0. You can double trigger this to spawn it in the world. And uh, here it is, turn private UI back off and I'll talk you through it. So here has a, uh, a big view, which is right now toggled off. And that's because I made it into basically a local mirror. So every player that wants to use it has to hit this toggle display button and that will turn it on. Um, no, it won't. Uh, oh, I know what that is. Um, in some worlds due to scaling, what I need to do is I need to take the uh, off screen and move it a little bit back. I'll update the... Um, Whoops. I'll update the, uh, what am I trying to do here? I'll update the, uh, I'll update the one in the public folder for that. There we go. That's fixed. I just need the off image to be a little bit behind the, uh, the on image and then it will show up. So now you can see that, uh, we are in business and we are seeing the camera output and you'll see that we're currently set to camera one by this text above here. But if we go over here, you'll see that we can grab camera one. And I could say, hey, um, let's take a look at the entrance. And I can even go up to the top of camera one here where the text is. I can hit secondary with my um, developer tooltip here. I can hit the box up here, this box on the inspector here, which I'll pulling up a keyboard. Turn it back on private UI and I can name this entrance. Hit enter and now you'll see that the camera's got entrance above it. And if I go back to the camera display, um, you'll see that the button has changed to entrance. I can also add another camera. So if I hit add camera here, I've now got camera two. And I can take this, rotate it around and say, aim this one at the stage here. I can inspect the text here again with secondary, hit this box and change this to stage. And hit enter, deselect all, head back to the display. And now you'll see our choice of entrance and stage on the right here, and I can actually toggle between them. So now we're looking at the stage camera, the entrance camera, and the stage camera again. So I can swap between them. And I can add as many cameras as I want. So there's four cameras. I can say, you know, point that one over there at the, the video player for some reason. And I can say, hey, this one, take a look at the stairs. Ow. Uh, that was me hitting my desk. <laughs> And now I can go between entrance, stage, camera three, camera four. You can add as many as you want. Uh, there are some things I need to tidy up on here as I just made it, but feel free to check it out. This is once again an example of what you can do once you understand how a component works. So all that's happening here is when you push this button, it's writing a new slot into the um, portal target here. So you know how I showed you how you can make it between the box and the original blue square that's still there? All it's doing here is setting the um, portal um, portal target to one of the camera orbs around here.
And the reason why we're doing it this way and the reason why I'm continuing to call it a CCTV system is because this is quite efficient in that when I am looking at the entrance camera, none of the other cameras are rendering. They're not doing anything. They're just floating models. They don't do anything. They're static. But when I change to that camera, it swaps this one sort of camera to render that. So it's only rendering one camera at once. And because the display here is local, it means that if no one's looking at the camera feed because they've toggled it off, then nothing's rendering. Everything's off. That's why we're doing it this way. I hope all of that helps. Um, this is the first time where I've basically shown you how a component works and then showing you something I built. But the reason why this occurred is because I was, when I was making this tutorial, I found out how easy that component is to work with, and I just made this on the fly, pretty much. That's it for me. If you want to check this out, it's in my public folder. I'm going to make some changes to it. I need to adjust the culling here to get rid of the camera um, and that off problem, and um, but it's there in my public folder for you to use. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.